Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. Today I will be teaching you how to clean up and smoothen your skin in your portrait photos. So put on your garment or do it yourself. And never forget that a little knowledge yesterday and a little knowledge today makes a professional tomorrow. So pick your devices and let's get started. Now type acne into pixel windows and select this image. Resize it to fit into document page. With one finger tap on the screen for a second or so duplicate the image. And the process we are using to clean up this image is called frequency separation. The frequency separation separates the image into two layers. The gray side is one layer. The color side, as you can see on the screen, is another layer. The gray side is called the high frequency layer and the color area is the low frequency layer. The high frequency layer contains all the details, the fine details, the texture, the air, the fine lines, the skin imperfection, and the, 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 the pores. And the other side, the low frequency layer, contains every information about the shadow, the tones, and the colors. In searching radius for this separation, please note that you are transferring details from the color layer to the texture layer. So keep the radius as low as possible to avoid taking too much as this will affect the overall result. For this image, we are using between 6 and 7 pixels. Listen, you may want to work directly in the high frequency layer by making the low frequency layer invisible. But I like to work while the two layers are visible. So pick the healing brush, set opacity and flow to 100%, hardness to zero and let's start the cleaning up of the skin in texture layer. To use the healing brush, you will need to sample a clean area of the skin. Press and hold to pick a clean texture for the high frequency layer and press and hold to pick a clean color for the low frequency layer. Then apply it to cover the blemish. As you can see, the process in the texture layer is leaving some black spots behind. It is because they are not textures but colors and will be taken care of in the color layer. So also in the color layer, you will not be able to remove textures. You must understand this. As you go about the process of cleaning the skin, continue to change the settings as you desire. Reduce opacity and flow wherever you don't want total removal of the texture. That will reduce the impression being created by the brush. Also make sure that you don't remove all the textures in the skin because that is what makes us human and not plastic doll. Let's stop there with the texture layer 
though we may still have to come back to it. But for now, let's select the low frequency layer and let's work on the color, the tones, the shadows. And we are using the same tool, healing brush, and the same process. So let's get it done. Can you see how we are removing the black spots left behind in the process of removing the unwanted textures in the skin? This is possible because originally they are colors and not textures. They are colors mixed with textures. Please note that when you encounter some stubborn spots or blemishes that are refusing to go, it is possible that you are operating in a wrong layer. So to remove such stubborn spots, please know how to toggle between the color and the texture layers. In between the two layers, you know where to move to the color layer and when to move to the texture layer to remove a particular spot. To remove the wrinkle around the corner of the mouth, pick the inpainting tool, set radius to about 4 pixels and use it to remove the wrinkles. After this, continue with the healing brush. Now, with the high frequency layer selected, pick the inpainting tool and start to remove the texture on the upper part of the eyelid. Also, use the inpainting brush to remove the stray hairs of the eyebrow. If you look very well at the forehead, you can clearly see that the rash texture is very much visible. So to correct this, tap light filters and then add clarity filter as a child layer to the high frequency layer. Set the value of clarity to negative 100, then invert layer in the channel studio. Then select the brush with white paint, choose opacity 100, flow 100, and paint over the affected area of the forehead. Go back to the healing brush. Toggle back and forth the two layers to tidy up some spots in the skin. Now select the low frequency layer and add bilateral blow to blow certain areas of the skin like the chin, the cheek and we do this without making the image look like porcelain. Set the radius to about 20 pixels, invert layer, pick the brush tool and with white color start to brush over the areas.
just continue to clean as you go. Clean every spot you encounter. Heal every area as you go. Just look at before and after. Isn't this good? This is before, this is after. Now let's brighten up the lips a little by adding color red to the lips. Pick the smart selection tool and make a selection around the lips. Tap on color balance in the adjustment studio and in the mid-tone, drag the red color to 100. Then reduce opacity to about 70%. Now let's brighten the eye. With the same smart selection to brush, select the white area of the eye. Add curve adjustment and brighten the eye. Then turn opacity to about 65%. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for staying with me. Please make sure to subscribe and like before you go. God bless you.